that. Hi, Red. How are you? Welcome in. My drip came out early post surgery and I woke up in a hallway freezing cold, cold in a pool of my own blood. <gasps> no. Sorry to anyone eating. I'm sorry to hear that, Toridor. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that, that puts things into perspective, right? But at the same time, the... Okay, we're not building the... I need to build that fucking thing before we go to the Free Star Collective. Because these guys are gonna come at me when we're flying. And I'm really not good at um, the space fighting. Like, the... Any kind of spaceship fights. I suck and I get angry. And I want to throw, like, my keyboard. <laughs> To the computer so i don't want to rage on stream so we're not gonna build it on the ship i'm gonna go back to one of my uh outposts i always want to say settlement because i am still in very much in a fallout mindset when it comes to these games but um we're gonna go to one of the outposts we can build the r how what is it called how does it call our millary on your ship or build the armillary at an outpost. So we're gonna build it at one of my outposts. And yesterday I was thinking about it. I was saying, oh, maybe I should buy, build it. Like I have two outposts right now. One of them is on Jemison's moon. And one of them is right outside the main city of, you know, the game, like a five minute walk out of the city. Cause I was like, well, let me just, you know, try an outpost here instead. So I think I'm going to build it at the one outside the city because it's the closest one. It will probably be easier to uh, access as well if it gets attacked. So we're really like close to the end of the main quest, I feel, because we lost someone yesterday. And then we're getting attacked more frequently by these enemies that we don't know nothing about. So yeah. Uh, so good. I did not. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad someone found you though, and like that you got you know help and everything. That you know you're still with us today. So clearly you're made of tough material. Okay, we're we need to go back to Jemison. Now we were on the eye. Matt, I can't believe she they killed her. They killed one of my friends. I'm so mad. <laughs> you guys don't know. I was like, I finished stream yesterday and I was thinking about it. I was like, I haven't cried, but I feel I'm so angry. I'm so angry at this. So, yeah, that's my that's my feelings right now. Like they really made me mad. And now I'm like, I know I'm ignoring the main quest from now on. like no you never know what you'll find this place is oh hi i heard something like an enemy also now we can teleport right here because i built a um a landing pad right in my outpost so now we don't have to walk all the way i really just have to you know select it and we can do that okay i thought i scanned it yeah nice that's good never seen this it looks like space fallout it is you know um their latest game can i get it thank you so Starfield, yeah, it looks like Space Fallout, and it plays a little bit more like Skyrim and Oblivion. So, for example, when you talk to someone, you know, in Oblivion, like, it zooms in on the face. Like, it, they do that in this game as well. Protagonist is silent, you know. Hi, Fady, how are you? Welcome in. Uh, a couple of the quests are very, like... Fallout slash Skyrim, you know, they're, they're 
a very good representant of Bethesda games. Uh, we finished one of the main faction storyline last week, and now I'm about to start another. Uh, but now I was just talking with uh, this guy here. Because I took the perk Adoring Fan, so if you guys played Oblivion, you remember the Adoring Fan in Oblivion. Well, he's here in uh, Starfield as well, so I'm going to remove that, though. Fetty, how are you? How was your day? And also, I got a cowboy hat yesterday because I told Sam that I loved him, and he said, I love you too, and then he gave me a hat. <laughs> so, now, so now we match. Look at us. We match. Yeehaw, motherfuckers. <laughs> okay, let me talk to you. That's so cute. Is I, something on your mind? I knew and you would love that. Hero work? This is so cool. Need me to ease your burden, mighty one? Does he have anything? I don't think I gave him anything. No, he's good. Being part nice. of your crew is just the best. Okay, I need to build something. So let me get that. Hold on. Build. No, I want to... Okay, there we go. I need titanium. I think I have titanium on the ship. Ball gang. <laughs> oh, I forgot you you added that the other day. <laughs> Thank you, King. King King knows what's up. King knows the good comments. <laughs> The taint one. You're and then as Lars is gonna like clampy leave us if you taint too much. Thank you for that, Lars. <laughs> oh god. I mean, I'll just ban King. <laughs> King, you heard that? Are you gonna let this man threaten you like this? Listen, uh, Colleen the other day used the cock gangs. Both of them. So I'm just saying. So you're not the only ones. Uh, let me climb up there. Can I jump? Thank you. No! Okay. No, she didn't. She did. I have proof. I think it was Tuesday evening. If you go back and watch the VOD, she did. Wholesome as fuck, Colleen would never... Colleen is not wholesome anymore. She's She allows swearing on her chat, in her chat now, so... She's letting go. Okay, let me grab all my scrap. I don't think you guys can hear, but I'm mashing the E button. Just because I want to grab everything. Also, yes, I have... I'm a hoarder. I'm a loot goblin. So, and this ship doesn't have enough storage. So, I am literally just putting everything everywhere. Just dropping everything on the floor. And then once in a while, we grab everything and we just go and put it back in in my containers uh, in one of my outposts. So this way, you know, we can clean. Can't wait for Alexia to see this. She's going to be so happy I cleaned my <laughs> ship. <laughs> Good gods! Also, you guys. I have been... I was stalling, you know, with Baldur's Gate finishing the game because I've been reading a lot. So, and also now that they said, you know, that the new patch is coming up, I'm really... I really want to, like, finish the game with that patch because 
of my romance choices. When Kali Munchat is quiet for too long, I just type in poop in there. <laughs> I mean, you talk about poop or any other, like, bodily fluids, like, and people will, will say something. People have opinions on everything. Okay, I think we're good. And now I'm super over cucumbered. We'll see. Oh yeah, I am over cucumbered. I can see it right away. You can see my O2 like in the the red cor the red the left corner. It goes down so fast. And now I heard <gasps> Oh, I hurt myself. Oops, I was too heavy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at her. She's lurking. Hi, Colleen. I love you. You're cutie. You're a cutie patootie. Okay, can I build my armillary? I don't have enough titanium. I probably have some inside. Okay, let's go in. Okay, well. Let me try this first. I don't want to hear a thing. <laughs> I only need one titanium. I don't remember if I put it here. Yes! I saw it! We got it. Okay, good. Still gonna grab everything. Okay, that's it. That's good. Hell yeah. Um, imagine actually carrying all that stuff. Listen, I am currently having. <laughs> A mass of 1,500 pounds, and I'm supposed to carry 170. I don't know how I'm doing this. Um, okay, can I do that? I think I can do that with this. Uh, surface map, back, outpost. Can I do that? Yes. Hell yeah, that's what I wanted. And we're going to put it... Can I place it out here? I know I can't place it with an existing object. So it needs to be outside. 170 would be rough. I know. I'm like, I wouldn't be able to carry that like on a good day. So imagine. I'm not going to leave it outside like this. 
Cargo zero, crew one, needed power 11, total power six. Production, no production, obviously. I want to put it inside. I don't want to put it outside. But it looks like I can't build it here. No, I know that. Can I put it on the roof? No. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. It will be floating. <laughs> I want it to be like like this. I Thank you. I'm healing. I don't want to put it like like here like this is just asking to get robbed I don't want anyone to see like what we have can I put it close to the tower because I do have hold on I can because I have the helium three here, a generator, power. Well, I do have my. Wait, hold on. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, output link. Does it work? Nice. Thank you. I could put it here, but I don't know if it means that the cement thing will be like under. <laughs> I really just want to put it somewhere where Okay, let me try again. Oh, I saw it. I want to put it in. No, it just let me like put it here but it doesn't let me like put it inside and I need to build this before we leave So yeah, I think it's going to be outside because, yeah. It doesn't even want to put, like, be put here. I just want it inside. This is so annoying. Hi, Meeps. How are you? Okay, let me... We're going to build this fucker here. Because I'm tired. Meeps. You're a lovely meep. There you go. You can now move the armillary. Oh, okay. So now I can move it. I only needed to build it outside. You could have told me before. 
Starburn attacks are more likely wherever the armillary is placed. If you choose to keep the artifacts in your inventory, then attacks are more likely everywhere. And this is why I don't want to carry them. Because these fuckers are not gonna stop attacking me. And I don't want them to attack me. Okay, good. So now I can go into this. Can I move it? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and of course now I can't move it inside. Oh, that fuck. That fucking sucks. Can I? Because honestly, it's right there, but. Waku is so precious. Oh no, what happened? Let me know. Is the um hello sound effect Emma? No, 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 because she does that a lot. I know, no, she says hi, hello, usually. Um, hello is from uh, Jersey Shore. <laughs> and if, you, if you're familiar with Jersey Shore, in the intro, like the old one, there was Angelina in the intro. She was like, um, hello. And she was yelling that, and it's a staple of Jersey Shore. We I, we love that here. We love trashy TV shows here. Ibuprofen, Tylenol, and have a heating pad, and the cramps are still bad. Meeps, welcome to the club. Just pretend they're not here. <laughs> when she was playing Vampire the Masquerade Bloodline, when there was a, like a third or whatever, she could say, like, hello, I know, she says that a lot. It's not working. I'm sorry, Meeps. Send me a letter asking me on a date. <gasps> this is so cute. I love that for you, Red. Meeps, play with, uh, with, uh, with Tsuki. Say, ask Tsuki to lay on your stomach. So she can, you know, make it better. Jersey Shore is like a fever dream now. I know. I feel old when whenever I talk about Jersey Shore. I love that show when it came out. Ron, stop! Exactly. Or, you know, like, cabs are here. If you want, I can send you a screenshot of the letter you sent. Yeah, you can put it in the Discord, Red. Like, and if you have anything to share, put it in the Discord. We will all root for you. All of us. Well, I guess the, this is where it's going to be then. Because if I delete it, can I do that? Could I put it here? I'm half tempted to put it there. <laughs> hey, it works. It works. There we go. I have a shining beacon letting everyone know that I have the artifacts. It works. T-shirt time. GTL. GTL. Jim Tanning Laundry. I'm aging myself. Same. Welcome to the club. It works. Might be the most Canadian thing. <laughs> I heard all day. I mean, there's it works. There's yeah, but no. Or no, but yeah. There's the fact that we have, you know, the lilting, the lilting sound, you know, when we talk and we finish on a high note. Like we're asking a question like this, but we're not really asking a question. Yeah, but no, exactly. <laughs> he called me a cutie. Oh, oh, I love that. I love that for you. You're so cute. Uh, these Americans don't know that uh, a winter hat is called a toque. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Do you know that there's a law in Canada that says you can't apologize to the victim? Victims of a crime? And it can be used against you as an evidence? No, I didn't know we had a law like that. But it makes sense. It makes so much sense. Most Canadian law ever. Yeah, protect your right to say sorry. Exactly. A beanie. No, a beanie is not a toque. It's not the same. Full of a toque. Exactly. It's pronounced exactly the same, King. Like, except it's written uh, T-O-Q-U-E. Or in French. Actually, it comes from French. Because French... For in French, like a winter hat is called a tuque, and it's T U Q E in French. So we literally just like anglicize the word. A beanie is like it kind of is a tuque, but it doesn't have like it's not warm. It's the kind that you just wear like to hide your your hat your head or something. We literally have a na national maple syrup stockpile. I know. And like a couple of years ago, somebody stole from the stockpile, if I remember correctly. And we were like looking for for the thieves. That's not a joke we do. We do have a stockpile. Like Quebec produces 70% of the maple syrup worldwide. Literally, I checked online. It was I could not believe that. And this is a lot. They were swapping it out with water, some legend. I know, right? And I'm, I'm like, how? We, we can taste the difference. This is, this is not something. Can it get more barrels of whiskey than they have people? <laughs> That's, that sounds about right for Kentucky. Oh, oh, I healed. Fuck yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, I think I'm gonna put some turrets around it. So bear with me while we build these shit. Uh, quest item. Extractor. Power. Storage. Builder. Structure. Crafting. Defenses. Tick turret. It needs power. Small laser turret. I could, I can build that one. I can also build the other one here. Standard laser turret. Okay, I can't build another one of these, but now I can build that one instead. And... Last one. We're gonna put that one right there on top of the door. Let me turn it a little bit. I can't build any more. Yeah, I have six turrets. Cannot place. Max amount of the item has been reached. I don't like that from this this game. I really, I'm enjoying the game, but I, I know I say a lot, I don't like this, or I don't like that. Like, the fact that they limit the number of items you can build is not fun. Like, in, in Fallout, you could, like, I have, I have one of my outposts, like, one of my outposts, one of my settlement, has so many turrets, like, you can't attack them because I will literally come and, like, you will get killed before you reach the inside. So, so yeah, so I'm like, I just want, I just want this to happen here. I just want to put, like, turrets all around it so they won't, they won't touch it. Uh, I just got a Nosmium White Truffle. Watch out, Bubby from Beluga Bay. Let's go take Bubby down. Kill the motherfucker. Okay, we're gonna run a... Um, build track. Can I track from it? No, I don't want to track from that one. No, that's not what I want to do.
output link, build mode. Can I bring it on top? Like, can I put it there? I don't think I can. Because this one works because it is close to that one. But then these two are not working because there's no power close to them. Kind of reminds me of the forest. I don't know if you've ever played that. Mm, I haven't. No. But I think I've seen... Um, people play it. Or maybe I'm mistaking it with Sons of the Forest. I don't know if it's the same franchise. Okay, can I create an output link to the other one? No, I can't. It is, yeah. Okay, okay. So then I know a little bit of it. About it. If I do that, can I... Move, outpost, delete, wire. That's what I need. Final fuckingly. Did it work? Okay, it worked. Oh my god. I'm literally following in your footsteps right <laughs> adoring fan. Oh, uh, by the way, guys, ads are starting in four minutes. Alright, okay, good. One down, three to go. And then... Another one. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. <gasps> it's not working. I thought I had another one. It's not working anymore. Can I start it over? <laughs> Can I start it again? Can I move it? Okay, this one's good. Anything here? No, we're good. Well... Because this is working. This one's working. Why aren't you working? Okay, this one is working. Good. I'm gonna wait a little bit until my oxygen levels are coming back. Okay, I'm gonna take some contusion. There we go. 
gonna help us with that. Okay, this one is working now. Why aren't they working? Like, this one is. I'm gonna have to figure this out, I think, because I don't understand why it's working and why it's not working. But I'm gonna do this off stream, I feel. Because I'm like, it. this is boring. This is like the kind of thing that when I was playing Fallout, I, I was, you know, figuring out by myself. And then once you get the hang of it, it's all like, okay, nice. You can, you do this and this and that, and it goes really fast. But at first, you're like thinking about it more than anything. So, yeah. I know it's floating. So I can put it up up here. Okay, never mind. Let me go in. At least now I build the thing. So anything else, I don't really care. Okay, this is still working. Let me see, actually. Now that we're here. Can I build anything else that is electricity? Miscellaneous quest done. Extractor. Power. Power switch. I'll power switch you. Mm hmm. I don't know if it would do a difference. Like, I don't think it would make any difference. Because, yeah, there's like a little bit of light here. And then there's light over there. So clearly, like, some lights are working. But not all the turrets are working. Oh, I'm hurting. I think they're they're full transfer. Okay, transfer. We're going to transfer the resources. Oh, max capacity. Well, sad for them. Anything else? It's really at max capacity. All right. Is it at max? It's probably at max. Oh, no, it's not that bad, actually. Oh, it is. Never mind. Storage crate 150 to 155. So hold on. Let me go down there. Can I put this in? No. Nope. It's it is full. So now I'm gonna just dump everything here and we're gonna call it a day. At this point, I don't really care what happens because I don't think there. Jesus Christ, Jen. Let's go, girls. <laughs> How are you? Jen, how was your day?
Let's go. Thank you for the lurk. Are you still playing Elden Ring? You don't have to answer that. Okay, we're going to the Free Star Collective because we're going to start their, this uh, storyline. This faction. Because I don't want to be on this planet anymore. <laughs> and on that planet, I mean on a planet in the game. It good, my friend. Killed me with nukes and helldivers repeatedly and he just unlocked a 500 kilogram bomb in game. Okay, so now you're not you're playing Hell Divers. But I, I love that for you. I hope you, I, I can see you have fun. So let's go. Light up the sky with these bombs. Appreciate all the videos. I'm like, I really want to also play Coral Island off stream, but I'm I'm really being good and not play. I'm not playing. I'm not doing anything off stream. I think we're good. <gasps> Final fucking me. Oh my god, look at that. My mass is now 113. Playing multiple things, I can be tame and yes, yeah, still playing in the ring. Made progress in my sorcery. Nice. I know, you're like... You're a machine. And I'm a hoarder. Can I kick it? Okay, this one I kicked. This one doesn't want to be kicked, so it's going to stay there. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, I could have probably built the armillary in my penthouse or in my house that we have in Aquila City. But I mean, might as well put it here. I need to also, you know, use that. Okay, I have a lot of transfer container here as well. Nice. And we have that one, yeah. Probably need more, um... I think I need more, um... Generator. Are you good, Sam? Exploring space. You worry you'll lose people, but like this, it's not right. I know, I agree. Let's go. So now one thing is done. Let me open up the log. What happened? What's out there? Oh. It tells me, like, my next one. High price to pay. Return to the lodge. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the lodge just to make sure people are okay. After what happened last night. Because a lot happened. Not gonna lie. I'm very mad at the game for putting this on me like this. I did not expect that. So we're gonna go uh, at the lodge. Let them know everything, like the pieces of artifacts are safe. And then after we do that, we're going to start the faction quest deputize. So we have a free star ranger mission waiting for us uh, to be done. So once we do that, we can go back to Aquila City and, and work things out. Um, all right. I don't even need to be in here. Come on, Sam. Let's go back to the lodge. I'm gonna open the map and we're we're gonna fast travel from here. There we go.
Excuse you? What happened? Oh my god, this is By so way, funny. Captain, okay, it. I think the game is bugged. <laughs> Because this is how, this is what happened, you know, when we had the Terror Morph attack the other day, when we were doing the UC main quest. So it's kind of acting up like, like that's what happened. But literally last night when we were attacked at the lodge, we ran through the well. And then when we got out of the well, the Never thought it would come to this. I don't remember his name. The there was like a guy wearing all black with a, a black visor and everything, uh, chasing us. Us and he's he was like he had a name and I'm sure I've seen him before in game actually. I think I've literally saw him like on my first stream. Now that I think of it, I was thinking about it yesterday. I was like, this guy looks very familiar, and I think I was simping over him uh, on my first, like, when we started playing Starfield back in September. So I'm going to have to go and check that out. But yeah, he was chasing us, and then he made, like, three of himself, and they kept firing at us throughout the city. So I think that's why, like, right now the city is kind of like... There was an attack, but we don't know what to show, so we're gonna show like the aftermath of the terror morph attack, even though it was like this this starborn attacking us and not terror morphs this time. Star more guns belonging have been moved to the lodge basement. Oh my fucking god! Why did you say that to me like this, game? I will be monitoring everyone's vitals for signs of continued trauma. Vasco, we're all, like, traumatized. Literally. But thank you. I hope you're okay. Hey, uh, maybe we should get back out there? Staying at the lodge feels weird. I understand. I really messed up on this one, friend. Usually the last guy to get out drawn. Oh shit. <sighs> Guys, I'm sorry. It's emotional now. What happened? Are there any other Starborn? Okay, so it's acting like... Like he wasn't with us when we went to to the ship. To uh, the eye. Hold on. What happened? Heard someone shut. Their ship was docked with the station. We were all geared up, but there was no one there. Poor Vlad got the first swing. Knocked him back into some of the computers. This Lights is really out. funny, though. That's not gonna Star lie. Lord just appeared. It's kind of all a blur after Bestie, that. Bestie, you were with me. You were with me. We ran around this house, and then you were with me, and then you held Sarah while she died. And I can't, I can't think about that. Are there any other Starborn? I got a good look at him before he knocked me senseless. I know that stance, that arrogance. The hunter works alone. <gasps> yeah, the hunter, that's his name. Don't worry about it, Sam. I'm just glad you're okay. Back at you. Well, let's get going. Sam Cole loved that. What? Of course he loved that. Oh, Are you okay? I'm sorry. Just. Oh, I can't thinking. talk to her. That's that. Wow, okay, so everything has been literally, like, destroyed. Mateo, I need to be checking everyone's vitals. Now really isn't the time. I know. Look, we all feel like we've been kicked into the ground a million times over, but I think I have something. I'm serious. Wow, the ludge has really, like, I really took a hit. Are you okay, Mateo? If I may, I know our encounter with the hunter is the last thing anyone wants to talk about right now, but he said something that I can't get out of my mind. Unity. Do you remember that? Uh, he said our part in glimpsing the unity was over. That felt like a trick. Something to throw us off the path. 
Uh, I was thinking about that too. It has to be related to the artifacts. I'm gonna say the third one. Exactly. Somehow. The thing is, I've heard that word before. It's an important concept in Keeper Aquilus's speeches. The priest? Is the Sanctum Universum going to bless our little crusade <laughs> of discovery? It can't be a coincidence. The Sanctum has always believed that answers are out there in the stars. Look, I know it's the longest of shots and the biggest leap of faith I could ever ask us all to take, but why not talk to him? I mean, there is a kernel of truth here, probably, because if it is a concept that is known to humans, then it might come from them. And I mean, just, you know, the principle of like the universe and stuff like that, like we figured it out eventually, you know, by studying the stars and, and such. But like, what if, and I mean, we played enough Mass Effect here and other games to know that there might be some other things that play in the galaxy, right? So it looks like something here is there. Maybe it's the Protheans, we don't know. Uh, where is the Sanctum Universum anyway? It's right here in the city, just a block or so from the lodge. Uh, you're right. It's too big of a coincidence not to try. It's just a word, Matteo. You're grasping at straws here. No, I feel this is a little bit dismissive. And I don't, right now, with everything that happened, the person we lost, uh, anything, anything can work, you know? So we're just gonna, we're just gonna roll with it. So you're right. It's too big of a coincidence not to try. I guess it couldn't hurt. Exactly. I've heard the Keeper's a pretty insightful guy. Thank you. I know it's not I'm much happy to go on, my but future husband something about agreed. this feels right. I'll meet you over there. Thank Sampo you for dismissible. helping me I don't want to dismiss him. Are you okay, Noel? I'm not sure when things I will need feel to inventory safer. all our equipment and other odds but and ends we have not damage. been attacked again. Any thoughts on the starboard? You mean what board? could be the biggest discovery in the history of humanity? Yeah, I've got some thoughts. Scans are still inconclusive, but I think we've seen enough to know that we're dealing with something potentially even more unusual than the artifacts. There are so many questions beyond just who are they? How did they find you? How do they know about the artifacts? Why has no one ever seen them I think we had this before? conversation with her before. Don't worry, we'll get all answers. Never a dull moment. It's okay to be worried. Yeah, well, I'm worried whether or not it's okay. It was one thing when this was just about us investigating the artifacts. Uh, a weird phenomenon that didn't come with creepy threats mm -hmm. or questions about aliens or whatever it is that's going on now. I know we'll figure it all out in the end. It's just kind of a lot right now. No problem. Man, I'm really like, okay, last night, and I was thinking about it after stream. Vlad said, you're taking Sam with you. Sam is my most used um, NPC, you know, in that gang, in the Constellation gang, because I was putting him off for so long. Like, I really ran around with him a lot at the beginning. That's how, you know, I got all his approval. I was, I'm still really into him, right? But I was like, no, I'm gonna, you know, have Barrett with me, and then we're gonna run with Andresia a little bit, and then Sarah when we did the UC stuff, because I felt it felt, it felt okay you know it was right to take sarah for the uc stuff and it was great we had so much like npc interaction with her and she was really starting to feel like a friend and now they killed her and i'm so mad i'm like i wish i had more time so yeah let me just like make sure that my companions are all okay i really it, it's really sad to see all of this i'm like can i just fix it are you okay, Andreja? I have been curious. I know that your role in Constellation was thrust upon you in an unusual way. But that experience does not demand that you stay. You could have delivered the artifact and then left. Why do I you stay? Have. I could have. Uh, the artifacts mean something. It's important we find out what. 
It's a good group of people and they need my help. I love a good mystery. There isn't much else going on this week. Let's talk about this some other time. Uh, no, we're not, we're going to discuss it right now. Um, I love a good mystery. Like my, my character, you know, she, she's not from there. So I feel like she would answer that. I love a good mystery. One that hopefully will soon be solved. My past is complicated. Anyone here will tell you I do not speak much of it. But my family always stressed the importance of having a purpose in life. You must have a reason for being. Um, what is, why is Constellation meaningful to you? This group of people, who by rights would never associate with one another, has come together for a common cause. That is impressive on its own, before considering the magnitude of the work they have undertaken. The possibilities it holds. Hold on. I, I'm not crying, by the way. I just have, you know, when you have, like, one little eyelash that is annoying you. In your eye. Oh, my God. Okay, I think I got it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you've got to have a reason to get out of bed in the morning. I think having goals is important. Hopefully, you leave a little time for fun, too. Fun is not a consideration. I am not saying I am incapable of it. It just it should never be a priority over other things. When I first came to it New Atlantis, both. I was shocked at how many people go about their business every day like drones. They do their jobs, eat their food, sleep in their beds, mm. all seemingly without concern for anything around them. Complacent. Their experience is so different from much of the settled systems. That's true. They do not know how good they have it. Uh, how are things different for them? There is no struggle to survive here. That is no true. No great risk They're, in they, daily life. They live life. a very cushy life. I'm sure you have seen for yourself that is not the case for much of the settled systems. Hostile environments, dangerous creatures, not to mention the threats mm -hmm. posed by other humans. None of that touches these people. Your experience must have been very different then. There's no way to know why, that, what someone else is going on. She's right. That's also true. Like, But you can't judge them for the cushy life they, they've been born into. But at the same time, it has its own struggles. You think people need to struggle to live. I'm not going to say that. It's a little bit rude. Uh, but I'm going to, you know, empathize with her experiences. Yes, they were. I did not grow up amidst such luxury. Purpose cuts through adversity. I know that all too well. And these people seem to have no idea. You're obvious. You are. Um, you've obviously been through, through a lot. I'm sorry. Life has been hard for you. Feeling sorry for yourself never helped anyone. Nah, 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 we're not saying that. Um, I'm going to say, you know, the first one. You, you've obviously been through a lot. I sympathize with that. I have. There have been times where I wondered whether it was worth it. My family is unique within the settled systems. I grew up outside the bounds of the United She's Colonies. She's House Varun. Or the Free Star Collective. My parents and their parents before them did not believe anyone outside our family could be trusted or relied upon. You can imagine, I am sure. She How lives in a cult. without ties to others is challenging in space. Why did your family insist on independence? They believed, and still do, that anyone who was not part of our family did not share yeah. our values, it's very our much goals. A cult. And was ultimately a potential threat. My time in the settled systems has mostly led me to agree with them. And then did you change your mind now since you're, you're in with Constellation now? You know? Uh, that sounds like a terrible way to live. It's not a life I choose for myself. Getting by on your own is admirable. 
I'm gonna say it's not a life I choose for myself because my character was born on Neon and she, yes, she was, you know, living by herself and scraping by, but it is not the same as, you know, living out in the fringes. Choice had nothing to do with it, not for me. But looking back, I understand their concern. For now, though, it would seem you and I have found purpose in Constellation. I believe that is enough. I am pleased that we have common cause and have enjoyed our time together. Thank you. I like her a lot. She's very nice. Okay, but do you have anything to say about... The lodge feels a little colder than it used to. Yeah. Now that we lost someone... Are you good? Ever since we've started uh, being a couple, <gasps> things have been going well. Like, really well. But at a certain point, um, Cora, we, we gotta make sure Cora's alright with this. That sounds like fun. Good luck. <laughs> this is so me. Uh, I think things are going super well, too. You haven't told her already? I keep meaning to, and... You know, there's just never the right time. All right, I keep checking out about it. You got me. I'm just so damn happy. It's hard to rock the boat. Okay, does that mean we've been smooching in secret? To make sure that his daughter is not finding us? Finding anything about us? Wow, wow. That sounds like fun. Good luck. <laughs> wait, wait, you're not off the hook on this. I'm not sure how much you've talked with Cora, but I think you should. Hey, if you're happy with what we have right now, you don't have to. But if we get much more serious, I need to know Cora's on board. How serious do you want, do you want it to be, Sam? Um, shouldn't you be the one to talk with her? To talk to her? She's your daughter, after all. Um, hello? Oh, I'm gonna talk with her, too. But Cora and I are a package deal. She needs to get to know you and at least be okay with us being an item. An I really item? Hope that's not a deal breaker. Um, hello. That was well timed. Yes, thank you. I'm like, um, hello. Hell yeah. You did good. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not sure when I'll get around to it. No, no, I'm not going to say that. Time to talk to Cor with Cora. Fun. Ah, don't worry about it. She doesn't bite. Well, not anymore. <laughs> oh, so it's really getting serious with him. And especially since I was... When the thing happened yesterday, like... The mission where we got attacked. And then the other person uh, died. There was a lot of, of things happening. And every time I was talking to someone, he loved it. So Constellation has suffered losses before, although none quite so violently. I know, Vasco, I also feel bad. Uh, do you have anything to say? I know you're sleeping. Well, let me wake you up. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, no, he doesn't have anything else. Been lost in thought for a bit. No shit, you were taking... Uh, he was taken hostage, and then I shot the guy. The other guy, not him. What's up? Are you okay, Sona? We have Sona and now Sarah's dead. I'm, I'm gonna need fanfic for this. I'm gonna need to read fanfictions for this. I need to know Sona's gonna be okay. Well, at least, you know, the meeting room hasn't been touched. Where's Barrett? Barrett, where are you? We need to talk. I talked to... I have, almost have six stacks of 999 stones. <laughs> Soup's face! He's like, what the fuck? I talked to Noel already. I'm really sad because her bedroom was right here. Okay, we're not gonna do though. Uh, that's not the right thing I I pressed. 
Do I have? I don't have a skill point right now, right? No. I have too many rocks. Are they shiny rocks? Pretty rocks? This is the one I want to do right now. I don't want to do unity, so we're going to ignore that one. Talk with Korra Ko. I don't want to talk to Korra right now either. But I do want to go... Wait, hold on. Hi, bye, Ton. Tonathan in flowers. What are you doing here? Dropping a hundred bits at me like this? No, 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 no. Thank you, Ton. I appreciate it. Oh, oh, oh. See, we found more powers. So when we scan the planet, so that we have all like these powers from beyond to get. And when we're gonna get them, we're gonna get attacked again. So I'm not sure we want to do that right now. It said something about her stuff being in the basement. Don, thank you for the 100 biddies. I love you. Take care. Let's go downstairs. Barrett, are you okay? There's that empty feeling again. Whenever someone's gone, there's like a hole in the lodge where there used to be. The poor guy also lived through like his husband, you know, dying. So Ellie contacted me about the case. Refresh my memory. Which Ellie? Oh, sure. Ellie Yankton from Gagarin, the lawyer. She handled Irvin's yeah, case yeah, for yeah, us yeah, after yeah. we did our investigation. Uh, please tell me. I've been waiting to hear about this. I thought we were done with Irvin's case. Our part in the case is done. But Ellie took it to court for us. Reminds me. I should send her a gourmet chunks basket. Yeah, probably. Anyway. <sighs> We have a verdict. And? Urban's record will be expunged on account of his death occurring before the trial ended. It's a technical victory, but we'll take it. Okay. We can't change the system that made this happen. But I'm glad we tried. What's next for... Uh, how are you feeling about this, Barrett? Relieved. This was always in the back of my mind. Always there when I fell asleep and when I woke up. And I would mask it as much as I could. Hide the sorrow with my wit. Hide the anxiety with my charm. That's true. He's very the grief charismatic. will always be there. But it's something I feel I can move past now. If you need more detective work, you should hire a professional. I'm like, I don't want to do this with you anymore. What's next for Ellie? Well, she's going to keep up the fight. Gagarin is full of cases, just like Irvin's. If you can believe it. I can believe it. Uh, send my congratulations and gratitude to our lawyer. Already did, of course. And a third of the settlement. Just made sense considering how much she did for us. And speaking of the settlement, I divided it into equal portions for me, you, Well, Ellie, thank you. I didn't mean that. Here's your share. I wanted to talk about... And I sold the apartment. So here's the bonus Sarah. from that after taxes. I gave my portion to Ellie so she could fund other cases. So there it is. I guess it's over. I guess it is. Uh, how are you feeling about it? We knew we couldn't fix the whole system. I'm just glad we could do what we did. I'm also glad. I wish we could have helped more people ruined by her faces. But that isn't our fight. Uh, what happened to Helgi? Ellie tried to convince the judge to dismiss Helgi's conviction from years ago as well. But the judge didn't think that was warranted. Yeah, that guy was Helgi a bit... Helgi was having a rough time. Yeah, <laughs> to we say... Tried, but he didn't make it easy. To put it mildly. Also, well, so I gave Helgi a bit of money. Enough to leave Gagarin That's if very he nice wanted. Of you. Just in case. I appreciate it. Uh, can it feist us? Still do business? Until somebody changes the laws there, this will be just a bump in the road for them. Of course. Ellie is going to keep digging into them. And now that she's seen this tactic, she may be able to find a pattern. Uh, case closed, detective. There it is. I guess I needed to actually hear someone say it. Case closed. Whew. Finally. Finally. Hmm. 
You had your doubts, but you encouraged me to continue looking into Irvin's situation. I did. I don't think I would have ever done that alone. Thanks, detective. No, thank you. We make a good team. Uh, you could have done that all of that by yourself. Anything to get you out of your funk? It's gotten annoying. <laughs> Tough love. We make a good team. Huh. Just going to casually point out that a long time ago, you seemed not very thrilled about working as a team. Yeah, at the first. I'm glad you took a risk with me. Don't tell the others. But I was having a hard time focusing because of all this I trial stuff. I was like, stuff. who the fuck are they? So thank you for helping with that. No problem. Good. Uh, your secret's safe with me. I didn't really notice. Good. I've noticed you've been underperforming and I expect better of you. No, no, no. Your secret's safe with me. As close as we've gotten. I believe that. Usually Vasco's the only one I trust. Granted, he's programmed not to blab. <laughs> That's true. With you? No special protocols required. Anyway, I'm just glad we got everything settled with Irvin's case. Why? Why? It was just one loose end in a universe full of them. But I'm glad it's tied. I wish Vasco was the one to die. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's just a robot. We can rebuild it. Hey, uh, let's not stick around the lodge too long. We should get out there. Okay, he doesn't have anything else to say. Where is Sarah's stuff? Probably over there. Or maybe I need to like reload like something and then it will show up. The well. I don't think we can go through the well again. And this is um, Cora's Cora's room, but yeah. Wait. Oh! Is that it? I don't think this was there before. Oh! Yeah, it's it's her belongings. It's literally all the stuff that I gave her. Sarah Morgan's outfit. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Hold on. Does it mean I can wear her outfit? Oh my god, I can wear Sarah's outfit. Well, I'm going to wear it in her memory. It makes... I have a great butt in it, though. Well, that's very sad. But, Sarah, I'm going to wear your clothes. And I have pretty much the same haircut as she does. That ass! Look at that ass. Honestly, that ass is banging. Oh, seven, Sarah. I loved her very much. I'm still very mad that she died. Well, well, well. There we go. At least now, what do I have now, though? Okay, I need to sell probably a bunch of guns and such. Yeehaw, motherfuckers! Yeah, man, something really happened. Like, there's, like, stuff everywhere. Very sad. Let's go. What does it say? Talk with Cora, talk with Sam. We're going on the ship, folks. We're gonna talk later. Deliver news about the scow and Captain Petrov. Unknown? Talk to Keeper Aquilus. We're Aquilus. We're not gonna do that right now. Sergeant Yumi. Royce is at the Dawn's Roost. Offer to help Mitch Benjamin. Who the fuck is Mitch Benjamin? I don't fucking care. Structure. Okay, yeah, there's a bunch of shit around town. Who do I need to deliver this news to? I wonder. See? Now everything's fine. Oh, we're not in the right place, but yeah, whatever. Is 
it says can I tag it is it up there No, it says talk to Keeper Aquilus. Okay. I'm wondering if it's at SSNN. New Atlantis West End. Excuse you? Been up there, huh? Space? I did. You talking? If you have a new story for me, I'm very happy to pay your fee. Captain Petrov's ship, the scow, was robbed. I already interviewed an ex-pirate about the robbery. But she was as reliable as good coffee around here. So you were there when it went down? <laughs> what were you doing there? I was the one who robbed him. That's not really relevant, but I was there. <laughs> I was the one robbing him. I was making a delivery. Wrong place, wrong time. I'm very tempted to lie at the <laughs> for this. I don't lie usually, but I was the one robbing him. Also sounds pretty cool. Not gonna lie, like gonna you know brag about it. But I'm gonna say the lie. Let's let's say that I was making a delivery. Wrong place, wrong time. Why do I get the feeling you're often in that situation? What can I say? Tell me about this Captain Petrov. I've heard he's a bit of an eccentric. I attract what was adventures. Your impression of him? Petrov was a hoarder and liked to collect anything strange or unusual. His ship was a pigsty. It was so fucking gross. Uh, he had more credits than sense. Real full of himself. He was a character. All right. I liked him. No, I did not like him. Although, 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 he was voiced by Nick Valentine's voice actor. And, uh, you know, he's also the vendor in Skyrim, you know, when you get to Whiterun. I, I forgot his name. I want to call him Boromir, but I know it's not Boromir. But... I know Boromir is from Lord of the Rings, but you know what I mean. You're really unusual. I know. Thank you. Uh, he was a hoarder and liked to collect anything strange or unusual. I would have loved to have seen it. I'm sure it would make a good story right there. No one seems to know exactly what was stolen, but everyone agrees it was valuable. Care to shed some light on it? Well, it was so valuable, someone paid with their life for it, so... It was an unusual artifact dug up on some planet. A giant golden statue of a giraffe. <laughs> Beats me? I got out of there as quick as I could. I'm gonna say a giant golden statue of a giraffe. Sure. Right. Try again. What was stolen? I'm telling the truth. The statue was huge. It had emerald eyes. It was the craziest thing. I... Huh. I guess it takes all types? That last question. About, and I'm quoting, a zoo gone wild. The, the other source swore up and down that alien creatures got out of their cages and went on a rampage. Please, please, please tell me she was telling the truth. It's got to be some I'm gonna lie this for this as well. That's 100% correct. Don't believe anything you hear. What? Why do you want it to be true? You mean besides the ratings? I, I just want to live in a galaxy where eccentric millionaires have out of control zoos. But let's just give it to me. Straight. She's not wrong. Zoo. We're gonna lie. Or also. fiction. One hundred percent correct. Some days it is worth it to get out of bed. <laughs> I love it. This is just a plain old good story. Check the news feed for it later. Will do. And here's your payment. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. All right, folks, I think, wait, 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 that's it. Talk with Samco, okay, we need to talk to him, but I'm not talking to him right now. 
we're leaving. So, wait, my ship's not there. My ship is at my 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 outpost. God damn it! Like, where's my ship? It's not there because it's at the outpost. All right, so uh, hold on. We need missions first. We're untagging this, and we need to kill the outlaw gang leader on Vega One C. Collect the bounty. So we need to kill this these guys so we can uh, keep going with the deputized mission here. So let me go back to my ship. Nice to be back. Now it's raining. You got time for a quick chat? I appreciate it when you're able. I will. Later. Later, Sam. We need to kill some bandits first. Now, you're not pestering the captain, right, Cora? <laughs> Pester? <laughs> you think I'm a pest? Okay, yesterday when I was, you know, after Sarah's death, I was wondering, like, oh, never who mind. else could have died? Poor choice of words. You being nice to the crew, too? Hold of on. Course. I'm listening in. So this book collection fund I heard about? Don't you always say, don't listen to rumors? <laughs> oh, I love them. I was uh, looking, you know, who could have died and stuff like that. And I found a bunch of uh, Reddit shit. And like some people were like, yeah, I fucking hate Sam and I hate his brat of a kid. I'm like. They're just a kid in a video game. Like, don't talk to them if you don't want to talk to them. But he don't need to, like, say that they must die or anything. Like, I don't get it. And I'm like, the kid is just super funny. How do you not like Korra? You know? And they're like, I can't believe he asked us to, like, have his kid on the ship. And I'm like, what kind of person are you? To like worry about a kid on a, sh a fictional kid on a fictional ship, you know? I have some important information for you. Excuse you? Thanks for responding to my hail. We've been trying to contact you about your ship's extended warranty. <laughs> your warranty coverage has expired <laughs> or is about to expire. Due to the uncertainty of the political situation in the settled systems, we think now is a great time to renew your ship's warranty protection plan or purchase a new one if you lack coverage. Are we letting are we are we keeping up with the insurance warranty guy? Uh no thanks. It sounds like you're not interested in I am not. That's too bad. We'll continue to reach out to you with additional opportunities. I have things to thank do you. and places to be, but thank you so much, sir, for uh Making sure that we were aware of the warranty. Abandoned research tower. Collect the bounty on the Alpha Gang leader at the abandoned research tower. Can I scan it? There's nothing there. Not a lot. Barren. It has water and CL is chloro chlorine and then some other stuff landing there Sarah's down there she's in the picture I'm very sad knock knock we're here We came to collect. Have any new books for me? Uh, we're gonna get up.
There needs to be a bigger word than thanks. More than gratitude. And whatever that word is, I feel that way towards you. I'd be dead. Flat out dead if it weren't for you. Oof. That's true. I was like super scared. And yet someone still died because of me. I did what I had to. I'm just glad as hell I didn't lose you both. <sighs> and yet someone still died because of me. She... I feel guilty as fuck, so... No. No. Do not blame yourself. This is the hunter's fault. I gotta ask. Why me? It was an impossible situation. It wasn't you, it was the I artifact. Ask, sorry, but it's gonna keep me up at night. Sarah Morgan was our leader. I know. She held everything together. I, I just I just don't know if I'd pick me over her. Uh I couldn't lose you, Sam. I just couldn't. To be honest, I don't fully know why. I couldn't leave Cora without a father. That, there's also that. Like, I could not do it. Uh, you need to give yourself more credit. You're the heart of consolation. This is also very true. But I'm going to be really selfish. Because I feel that's how my character would react. Um, I couldn't lose you, Sam. I just couldn't. That, that means a lot. For my sake. For Cora's sake. Thank you. How are you holding up? Are you okay? Not okay. Look where we are. We're gonna shoot a bunch of people because I, I'm not okay. I'm just numb from it all. I'm just focusing on what needs to be done. I'm just so angry I could scream. I can't stop crying. I just can't. Um, I'm very surprised because I usually like cry when there's a character death in any game. But I'm so angry right now. And I feel that's also how my, my character would react like she would be so angry i could scream right there with you that hunter bastard's gotta pay, pay oh yeah time. it's personal now i don't care if he's starborn and indestructible we need to figure out a way to take him down gotta put a bullet through his head this is with my family like that i won't rest until i take that bastard down we still don't know the rules of that god of the damn game the starborn are playing uh, easy there. Take your breath. No, no, no. I'm not going to tell him to calm down because I'm not calming down. Uh, I won't rest until I take that bastard down. Just bring me along when you do. This is personal. You and me against the world. I just want you to know I'm here for you. The only way we're going to get through this is if we all lean on each other. Yep. Okay, now we're not going to talk to Cora to right now. Your ship is way bigger than Dad's. <laughs> I was gonna say something that is not appropriate to say to a little kid. Your dad has way bigger things than his ship. <laughs> Tell me to shut up. Alright guys, we're getting out of here.